Now, the dean of the Parliamentary Press Corps has described the directive as unfortunate. He says uh, they would further engage the speaker on this matter. Our main concern was that we can't sit inside the chamber. Sometimes they're doing consideration stage, clause, delete and insert and stuff like that. When you still have other media activity that you want to do, some interview or some clarification you needed to, from any minister or so, you can still wait until the House agenda before you go and do that. So that was what we wanted them to clear. But they understood us and said that we can do the normal work that we do. Just that sometimes we need, when important issues are being discussed, like the state of the nation address, the budget statement and those things, we should be there when members are, you know, commenting on it. And we all understood it. But when the sitting starts today, the leader made another statement. Seems to suggest that he still, still stands by whatever he said, that we should rather be in the chamber and then concentrate on whatever goes on in the chamber and then until the House adjourns before we can do other media activities. I, I found it very strange. So I, 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 got, I called her, his office and spoke to the communication expert who was in the meeting this morning. And she, she made me aware that the speaker had not been briefed yet about the meeting that we had. That's why maybe he still stands by his point. Let's just stay a bit further on this, shall we? And uh, Suleiman Abraima is the Executive Director of the Media Foundation for West Africa. He joins me on the telephone. Suley, thank you for your time. Good evening to you. Now, I recall yesterday you described this as uh, bothering on censorship and to some extent deciding what the media should be covering or not covering. But the Speaker insists that the duty of the journalist there is to the House, first of all. How do you describe the posture of the Speaker? Well, um, I think that perhaps we um, are just disagreeing with each other, but um, perhaps we mean the same thing. Um, what the speaker says that the business of the media in the House is to the House. Nobody has disputed that. But I believe what we would all agree is the fact that the business of the House is not just what happens at plenary. Um, part of thing we are all told that um, when people accuse MPs of not being heard and so on, they are quick. The same people are quick to tell us that the business of Parliament is not just what happens on the floor, and that there are so many things that happens behind the scenes, including committee meetings and uh, individual consultations and so on and so forth. And uh, therefore, uh, I would be surprised that, that to, to 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 hear that. Um, now, from now on, when we talk about the business of the House, we mean what happens at plenary. Again, um, as I said, look, um, the, the Parliament is a creation of our Constitution within our democratic con uh, dispensation. And so is the media, which is also a creation of our Constitution, and the roles of each have been defined. Right. And the media's role includes holding government officials accountable. And Parliament has its role to play. And I, I, I am wondering whether the Speaker or the leadership of Parliament thinks at some point that they can dictate what the media or what journalists must do just because they are, you know, there in Parliament to cover uh, matters relating to Parliament. I think that mm. if that is the thinking, then they are getting it completely wrong. And it, it would be at variance with what the Constitution provides. Well, yesterday, the Speaker's words were not, you know, uh, uh, ambiguous in a sense. Their understanding was clear for... As, as all, but the majority and the minority leader, leaders in parliament have been trying to explain what the speaker meant. So, for example, the majority leader today, when he met the press call, said he, he described it as a friendly advice to us as journalists that primarily we are here for this. Of there is uh, that if there is something you consider abnormal happening and you want to follow up, fair and fine. Except that in this regard, he thought that it was. Be behavior that out that was out of sync the minority leader also said that what the speaker sought to do was probably was to advise that while we are in session focus on considering matter within the chamber and that the various caucuses can hold their press briefing and press engagement before sitting and outside and we're talking about these two persons who have led their caucuses to be organizing press conferences when the the, the, the session is ongoing so where do we stand on this 
Well, uh, um, if, if the Honorable Majority Leader describes it as a friendly advice, I think I would say that the advice is welcome. And when you advise someone, they evaluate your advice and decide whether they would want to go by your advice or not. So if it was a friendly advice, I think um, it's welcome. It's not bad to advise. Um, but of course, based on the evaluation, as I have said, I don't think that it is an advice that the media um, ought, to, ought, to, ought to take. Uh, besides, I am surprised that both the speaker and the majority leader are not focusing on the news makers who would abandon their job as parliamentarians if they are saying that the business of the house um, is defined to mean what happens at plenary at a particular time. Right. Then the question is, on what basis would even uh, a, a member of that house leave the presence of um, the chamber to go and then meet a journalist to have a press conference or an interview. And again, like I said, the speaker who is the leader of the House, right. the speaker who presides over everything in the House, is embodiment of the rules of the House, has the power to sanction members of Parliament. I would have been expecting that this message would have been going to members of Parliament, that, look, when matters right. of business, I mean, matters of Parliament are, are taking place, when deliberations of this nature, that nature are taking place, no member is allowed to go out there and, and transact business with, with the media. Now, if they cannot impose that kind of censorship on their members, why would they seek to impose it on the media? media. Right. I mean, when they are not the folks who should determine for us, okay. as journalists, what is newsworthy and what is not, not newsworthy. Excellent. I think that the business of Parliament is to the Speaker, the business of journalism should be left to journalists to determine. Certainly so. Sule, thank you for your time this evening. Extremely grateful. Suleiman Abayama is Executive Director of the Media Foundation for West Africa. Aisha.